I'm sure shop to stop and, and the likes of it will start not looking just of India, but can we go into Sri Lanka, can we go into other parts of the neighboring countries and start working. And, you know, if Walmart can come to India, why can't we go there? I mean, I'm sure there are certain, if uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I, about two weeks ago I was in the United States for a Narata conference and I found, you know, Saravana Bhavan is the most popular thing. So they already started going overseas. Families, I mean, the Krishna suites or these are people. You're all starting to go all over the world. And that will happen, and I'm sure retail business will also start growing. Go. So can we learn? What do we learn? Walmart, Sam Walton, is still a family business. How many of you realize Walton family still controls Walmart? It's still a family business. But Sam Walton had the vision. Take a, I mean, he always had the vision. Even the first store, he had it only from the helicopter. Not the helicopter, this little plane that he flew on. Uh, out of Bentonville, went and surveyed. That's how he went and decided where the store was going to be put. He always flew on a plane, saw the traffic, and then decided that's where he's going to put the mall. That's exactly how he started years and years ago from the museum which Mr. Nagesh mentioned, which I've had the benefit of seeing some 35 years ago. I know that's the way that the whole family grew, and the family still has control over that. So it's possible in family businesses, the Viveks and the others, I'm sure can grow into Walmarts, but you need to start thinking very seriously on what you should do as a family. Certain things in the Indian situation, so, uh, which is not the anglo saxonist thing, and I think some of the Chinese uh, you mentioned have this, and I think this is something which we need to follow. Financial essential, yes. One of the greatest capitals that we in India have is the spiritual and the social capital. Unfortunately, as we grow in business, as we grow in this thing, if you go to any Monday, if you go to any shop, I mean every cycle shop in the morning, will never open. I mean, Mr. Nagesh told about welcoming the customer. But the first thing that they do is to do the puja before coming to welcome. I think if there is some way in which you could get that, the spiritual capital and the social capital of all the people working in the stores, attending the puja before you start, not just on the either puja day, but on every day, or at least on Fridays or something like that, that the bonding that you get, because we pray together and we live together, the spiritual and the social capital that we build is the strength that this country has, which no other country can be proud of. So I think we are, unfortunately, in this uh, television age and the mall age, we are tending to lose this. So I think, to me, one of the most critical things for this retail group here is the spiritual capital. And not to forget it. What we really need as a family is you've got to develop policies and processes. It's, you all have policies and processes for your business. But how many of you here sitting in this room who have come from family business have policies and processes for your family? Can you put up your hands please? Not one. This is really where the problem starts. We do not have, we have, we have spent 95, 98% of our time, we spend, the only time we spend is in our dining table at the home with the family. And we are very proud of our family, we are proud of our children. But then suddenly when the son comes and says something, or the daughter-in-law comes and says something, we say, oh my God, they are rebels. We see them as rebels. Why? Because we have not had policies well and well in advance. And that's really, if you start a business, you have your policy well in advance. So, in families, we need to have our policies and processes in place. Then comes training. Once you have the policies and processes, then becomes the training, and then it's easy to enlarge the circle of trust. So, what's happening in most families, as I see it, whether it's in retail or in industry or in 
anything, any business where you go, what's happening is the, the, while the business is growing, the family harmony, both of them are pulling in different directions. And there's a continuous conflict in the process, mainly on issues such as compensation, employment, inheritance, and reinvestments. I mean, etc., etc., etc. But there are every family, you know, in Tamil they say, Vidavasapadi, and then run, push it under the carpet, not deal with it. So anticipate and start having your policies and processes so that these conflicts can be minimized. This is basically all there is about in family business if you want to enlarge the circle of